Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are doing extremely well. So guys, um, today's problem actually was from a stack only. Then that was a hard problem, but uh, somewhere like I am not feeling well today. So uh, that's why I don't want it to break your streak. Right? So that was anyhow the last problem from our stack topic, right? So I'll make sure that we are covering that problem tomorrow in tomorrow's video. That was a hard problem and needed I think some more effort and explanation from my end. So that's why I skipped that video for today. I'll record that. For tomorrow and the next uh, topic that we are going to pick up now is the linked list so this is in the linked list this is a very standard problem right i mean when you are starting with you know uh, solving the problem so this is one of the most frequently asked problem has been asked in many top notch many good companies right so we will start with this problem that is reverse linked list so the problem says given the head of a singly singly linked list reverse the list and return the reverse list so we have been given you know that linked list consists of two things uh, one is the data and other thing is the address of another node right so linked list consists of two things so uh, now what we are having is that we are having the head Head, head. You can say a pointer that is pointing to the starting of our linked list. The head is given to us. We have to do what? We have to uh, reverse the list. For example, if here you will see, so one, two, three, four, five, we do have, and if you will reverse it, so you are going to get five, four, three, two, one. Right? This is the reverse list. So that's what the expectation is that you have been given the list. You have to reverse this list, and see don't get confused reversing means you are just swapping the values no we have to reverse this pointer itself pointers which are basically responsible for holding the address of next node right so we have to reverse this pointers itself that's what the expectation of the problem is they have been provided the constraint now a linked list can be reversed either iteratively or recursively could you implement both so as of now in this video i'll be discussing the iterative solution now your homework is going to be those who are comfortable with the recursion you have to do this you have to solve this problem by recursion iterate iterative approach i'm going to discuss in this video so make sure that you are in the comment section you are putting your approach um, by recursion in the comment section right so I hope we are clear with the problem statement. So now let's understand the logic for solving this particular problem, right? So here, if you will see that this is the head pointing to one, one, two, three, four, five. If you will reverse it, so that's what we are going to have. So when we are saying we are reversing the list, the expectation is that now one must be pointing to null. This head node, right? Okay, so what we will need, we will need a prev node, you know, to prev node will be responsible for to reverse these links. You, you can see you know, those links, right? So initially, we will have prev initialized with null. Now, a current node to keep track on what node we are right now and initialize with head, right? Now, when you will reverse that link, let's say, let's say I, I, I move this link, I move this link, this two is pointing to one. So now when I reverse this link, how I will reach to two, how I will reach to two. So that's why before reversing this link, we need, we need a pointer to keep track of the next node of our current node. So we can say we need one more, uh, variable let's call it head sorry next we need one more pointer let's call it next right so we will start now first thing is that current is our our current is right now head current is pointing to head now what we want we want this one to point to null right but before doing this uh, you know reversal of link we have to make sure that we are storing this address so in our next in our next we will um, we make our next next point to current connect 
so what is current connect current is pointing to this only this is our current current connect is 2 right so our next is right now here okay and now what we will say what we will do we will change the link so now one is no longer pointing to this 2 one is pointing to prev and prev is nothing but null so as of now this is what we got null and this is one no link between one and two next is on this one next is on this one then three then four then five right now what we want we want to create the link between two and one that is the thing so now what we will do so once you have you know you have changed those links and everything so what now what what our prev should be according to you what should be our prev now the prev should be the prev should be we will update that hey now make a prev as the current node so what is our current node current node is this one only na? current is right now on one only so prev is our current node and obviously we have to change now the value of current node also right it will no longer point to one only so we will update the value of current as next because now this is the uh you know the center point to work on so this is our current node okay so now what we want we want to create the link between two and one but before this we have to make sure that we are storing the link towards this three right so we will update next as next point current ka next so next will point here and then we will see then we will update that hey current connect can you point to prev so prev is nothing but prev is pointing to this one so current connect is now pointing to prev so this link got created and this link got broke right now again we will we will repeat the same process so this is null one two no link between two and three four five now the now the node under consideration is what three so we will update uh, we will update again the prev will be updated so what is the previous node now two two so prev will be updated to two now prev will be updated to two now current will be updated current will be asked hey you point to what next is pointing to so current will point to this three right now now what we want we want to create the link between two and three but before this I mean, for creating the link, you have to break this link. No, you have to break this link. So before breaking this link, we have to make sure that next is pointing to current connect so that we can reach to this node. And now we can say that current connect, can you please point to prev? So this link got created and this link got broke. Right? Now, again the same thing. Again the same thing. So one, two, three, four five right now again the same process is going to be repeated the same process is going to be repeated that we will update we will update prev so prev is this three now current is this four now i mean current will like we will make it to point to what next is pointing to now again we want to create the link between three and four before this update next to point to current connects so which is as of now five only now update the current connects to point to prev so this link got broke and this link got created right so again let me write one two three four and this five right now again we will update the value so this is four this node is going to be prev now this node is going to be current now and next is also as of now here only now again we will see we have to continue till the time current is not equal to null so still we have this node right so now next value we will update as key point current connects. So what is current connects? It's it's null only. So next will be pointing to what? Next, next, because in this five, what is there null? So next is pointing to this null now. And we are saying you remove this uh, and what we will do. We will create the link between four and five. So current connects is pointing to this prev, right? And now again, we will update the value. So prev is pointing to, so what is our previous node now? This five only? So we are saying that update prev is current and current will be updated with next. So current will be what now? Current will be null. So 
so we have reversed the list now again when we will try because see we are doing this process repeatedly now so obviously we are having a loop for the same so next time we will check that oh this time current is null means we have reversed the list and we have to stop now so prev prev is pointing to our so what is our in this reverse list if you will see let me in okay let let it be here only so in our reverse list in our reverse list what is our head node now this five and which pointer is pointing to it prev so we will return prev right and from prev we can get our reverse list five four three two one and one is pointing to null right so yeah that is the complete approach for solving this particular problem now just in what we discussed no so similar thing we have quoted so here you can see we are having a prev node a next and current current is initialized with head so we will continue in our loop till the time current is not equal to null so first thing is to store the address of the next node then only reverse the link right then only change the link so we are saying next equal to current connect and then we are making current connect as current connect to point towards prev and then we are updating the value of prev and current as we were doing when we were discussing the logic so prev would be updated with the current and current would be updated with the next right and at the end because prev is pointing to our reverse list right so prev is the initial point so we are returning the prev right so this was the iterative solution for solving this problem comment down the recursive solution for solving this problem thank you so much for watching this video everyone bye bye